Hi, thanks for checking out your Scotland's video on how to make lemon volcanoes. You're going to need a few things to take part in this activity. First of all, you're going to need a lemon or a lime, or like us, you could choose to use both to see which gives the best eruption. You're also going to need baking soda or bicarbonate soda, a sharp knife, a spoon or a wooden lollipop stick, and you can also choose to use food colouring to give your eruption some added colour. But before you get started, let's quickly think about safety. You're going to be using a sharp knife to cut your lemon or lime, so please make sure you've checked with an adult before you begin. You'll also see in our video that we've used some baking paper on our tabletop to help with keeping things clean. So the first step in this activity is to cut our lemon or lime in half. You'll see we're doing this in the video right now. We've also cut a small piece off the end of each lemon and lime just to help the lemon or lime stand up. At this stage you may wish to get an adult to help cut the lemon or lime in half for you using a sharp knife. Now once we've cut our lemon and lime in half, if you're using food colouring, this is the stage where we need to add it. So you'll need to add a few drops to the top of your lemon and lime and then using your wooden stick or spoon you're going to mix the food colouring into the lemon or lime juice just by poking down into the top of the lemon or lime and bursting the segments. Make sure it's mixed in well at this stage so that once we create our eruptions later it'll be nice and colourful. Next we're going to need our baking soda ready so that we can create some volcanic eruptions. You'll see here that by adding a spoonful of baking soda to the top of our lemon or lime and then mixing it in with the spoon we're going to create a volcanic eruption. Make sure to give it a good mix to get the best reaction. Add baking soda to each half of lemon or lime that you're using and mix them well. You could choose to use only half of each lemon or lime, keeping the second half to squeeze over the juice onto the other piece. By squeezing the juice on top, you might notice that this creates more of a reaction. So, what's happening in this eruption? Well, the juice of your lemon or lime contains an acid. This is reacting with the baking soda, which is a base. And in the end, this creates bubbles of carbon dioxide, which causes your big frothy eruption to occur. You'd also get other citrus fruits, which contain citric acid. So maybe you could go and do some research to find out which other citrus fruits you could turn into a volcano. We really hope you've enjoyed this video today. Please share any photos or videos of you taking part in this activity on social media by tagging at Youth Scotland.